morning. Good morning. It's time to go to Tunbridge Wells. Good morning. Good morning to you and you and you and you. We're off to Tunbridge Wells this morning. Um, actually, it's afternoon now, isn't it? It is. Oh no, it's not. It's still living Oh yeah. Which means it's actually still the morning. We're at Gamay. We got very confused on the way here. Yes. With where to go. There were some really early signs, but. Yes, we're here. It's beautiful here. Such nice weather. We'll try to get some footage of it, but I don't know if we'll be able to. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a treetop thing, so we'll try and sneak some. I love how you whisper and sneak some. Chelsea, on the other hand, <laughs> it's a bit scary for me, but I'm doing it, I'm breathing. Yeah, it's fine, I'm breathing break. Shake your ass, watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> And ice cream. That's so good. Right, they do Swedish glaze, yeah. glace, 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 glace Swedish glace, yeah. glace, glace. Mm -hmm. glace. Um, glace. caramel toffee ice creams, which is so good. I think more places should um, do vegan ice cream options. And in the cafe, their um, cups that they usually do for coffee um, were made from plants. Amazing. So you can recycle or compost them. Or Bring your own <laughs> flask. <laughs> Did you not get one? No, I thought I'd have a couple of sips of yours, but when I have too much coffee, you, you go like, oh, oh, crazy. We're watching I Feel Pretty on Netflix, and we're watching it on my phone. The screen is huge. Wide screen TV. Wide screen TV. HD. Um, just fell asleep, and I woke her up like this because she hadn't cleaned her teeth, and I was like, you must. So I gave her the toothbrush with toothpaste on it. She, first of all, I thought you wanted me to do it. You was like, <laughs> do you want to do three things you're grateful for? No, because I'm grateful for sleep. Let's just <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> Night. Night. Good morning. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. We're in this cute little garden. I'm reading Love for Imperfect Things. I'm like halfway through. Oh my God, our books colour scheme match. Yes. Chelsea's reading How to Break Up With Your Phone. Yeah, yeah. You've almost finished that, haven't you? How's the apple? It's pretty good, actually. Mm. Considering it's been in the bag, it's not, like, soggy. Yeah. What's your favourite apples, guys? Right down below. Mine's a Brayburn. What's yours? I used to be a Granny Smith. Oh, my God, yeah. You were such a Granny Smith. Now I'm like, what was I even thinking? I never understood why you... Like, a green apple. I mean, I would be a pink lady kind of girl, but those... They're expensive, expensive, yeah. So, keeping it budget, sticking with a bird. Yeah? Well, what's the other ones? Royal Gala. Like? Coxes? Royal Gala. Royal Gala are the ones that are a bit mushy, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, definitely a bird. Yeah, I'm so for a bird. Oh, okay. We're in the plant base and we've ordered ice lattes. Look how nice they look. Mm. And uh, don't worry, these straws are made out of vegetable vegetables. They're compostable. Uh, they're veggie straws. I was too tired last night to talk about the three things I'm grateful for. So we thought we'd do it whilst we're lying in this lovely park. Yeah. So, do you want to start here? Yeah, I'm grateful for this beautiful weather. Because um, it's been quite chilly recently. Mm. But literally, the sky is blue, there's not a cloud in sight. And like the birds are chirping, like the flowers are coming out. It's just really nice. Like, and we can thank global warming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks global warming for helping us. For this great weather we're having. <laughs> um, I'm also really grateful for you. I know that it's always like a given, and we never really say like oh, I'm grateful for you, but I am really grateful for you. Like this weekend has been so nice. I think we both needed this time. 100%. Just relaxing and, and chilling and reading yeah. and adventure and... And getting out of like the environment, like our usual environment. Out of routine. 
routine, isn't it? That, that makes yeah. such a it, it makes such a positive impact. I'm always so much happier away from that, like because you get to explore, you get to try different things, and just just be like around nature and be around different people. It gives you a different perspective. Yeah. Um, another thing I'm grateful for is nourishing food mm. and water this weekend. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't really been eating that well. Um, I've just been eating like what's quick to cook, like vegan chicken nuggets. Prior to this weekend. Prior to this weekend, yeah. Um, and like, yeah, food that you just stick in the oven or pasta and stuff that you just boil and it's quick. Or yeah. toast. Um, and I never ever used to be like that. I used to be very, very conscious of what I was eating and knowing that I'm getting like the right amounts each day. Um, but I think this weekend we've eaten, I mean, we've eaten out, but like that cute little cafe um, restaurant that we just went to. Yeah. Like the menu was literally just like health, 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 health. But yeah, everything on there was like goodness and nutrients yeah um and i feel like that's kick-started something like yeah. i feel like i need good food to feel better yeah i i agree um, like i'm grateful for having had the chance to read this weekend now, i was just about to say i'm grateful for libraries a oh, hundred yeah i keep saying 100 percent but it's so true <laughs> giving it 100 give it 100 um yeah like the the free access if yeah. if you don't go over on your books without renewing all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> My fines for, since December have been like seventeen pounds. <laughs> but um, if you keep on top of that, it's a free resource, and they have such great books. Yeah. You don't have to have any money to be enjoying the knowledge and the freedom that books allow. And I love that. Like once you're finished with the book, you give it to someone else. Like you yeah. give it back. You don't have to hold it. Yeah, it's not. It's not like um, now I'm stuck possession. with this book um, that I'm probably never going to read again. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I like to like visualize my books. Like I look at my books and I'm like, okay, they're nice to have in my house because they are all something that has impacted and changed me. Like either changed a thought pattern or you know impacted my life in some way. So it's nice to have yeah. a visual of that, but. I feel like keeping every book you've ever read is such a overwhelming um, burden, isn't it? Yeah. I'm grateful for great. my car, um, which I know is probably a little bit like more material than you was expecting, maybe. Like, oh, I take the piss out of it because it does break down every now and then. It has issues with, with she its broke electrics. Down lights. And, <laughs> yeah, like it does have issues, but so does every car. and. My car is such a, like, it allows me to do so much. Like, it's allowed us to come here and... The dog crates at the back, you can go for lovely walks. Yeah, it's so, it's so, like, the boot's so big. Like, I can get all my food shopping in it and my dogs spend time in it. And Her it, food shopping, she locks it in the crate. <laughs> yeah, keep your vegetables safe. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm grateful for my car that's allowed us to get here this weekend. And it's well comfortable, isn't it, to yeah. sit in. And it's just, yeah, it's just such a great tool. Um, I'm grateful for the book I'm currently reading, which you guys saw earlier in the video. Um, it's how to break up with your phone. Now, I'm not the kind of person that is addicted to my phone. I wouldn't say that I'm that person. Don't get me wrong, I spend more time on social media than I'd like to, even though I would say it's probably less than most people spend. And I'm not like glued to it, but my would my life be better spending less time on my phone? Yes, it would. You have um, gotten so much better, though. I have. Um, but it's made me realise that I can still do more to enjoy my life without it. So I'm really grateful for that. I'm grateful for you for booking this weekend. Um, and we've had such a lovely time together, some quality time. Yeah. And we've reminisced about old... Random stuff. <laughs> yeah, such random stuff like our <laughs> old school. So when yeah. I when I left school, the year I left school, Pia I started started school, and we went to the same school. Um, but halfway through Pia's um, time at school, it got the like, buildings like knocked got down, knocked down, and down. Re renewed, right? Yeah, and we Reven got like a that's it. completely like modern um, 
school and it was all in like one block and we were just like do you remember going in the old school where it was like well not old this for you, block but and this block the english block and then that was that teacher's room and then block. on the left and then the atrium up and yeah yeah so it's reminiscent about school like just having time to spend with you like quality time because i feel like my life is very rushed um and it has to be that way because i have to do so many things in my day I have so many responsibilities to take care of and obviously work and and to maximise that time my day does have to be quite rushed and and to have a social life and do hobbies and stuff as well yeah like I have to make time allow time for that so we don't get a lot of quality time together and I don't get a lot of quality time for myself so this weekend has been lovely thank you very much for arranging it and you're welcome paying for us to have such a nice day I also just wanted to say as well that like, I know how difficult it is to actually get stuff done if you've got like stuff going on and your motivation is low um, I'm on a nap um, but if you only do one thing today just get out in nature because it's it's just so crucial to like just be in touch be in tune with nature listening to the birds getting some sunshine um and i feel like it just realigns you doesn't it even just like 10 minutes or just go into your garden if you have one or like just, just be outside don't don't stay indoors we're back in essex we're at my mum's at the minute buddy was so happy to see me weren't you he was running around like a crazy boy because you are a crazy boy lynn did you miss me Yes, I missed you. Did you have a lovely time? Yeah, I had a really nice time. What was your highlight? Like, no offence, but probably just sitting down and reading. Yeah, no offence. I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. just, just spending having time. time to be. Yeah. yeah. And go ape, I like to go ape. And I really enjoyed the camera in my face. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, me too. Right, thank you for a lovely weekend. Thank you. Before.